everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. Today I'm going to be talking about my June makeup basket that my husband actually picked out this month for me. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen a couple pictures of him. He's not really a big camera person, like being on video or being on camera a whole lot. So I'm just going to talk about what he picked and I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into it. First, I'm going to start with items that I really didn't give him a choice in because either I'm trying to pan them or they're only I only have one item in that category. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. First, I have my Elf Hydrating Face Primer. This is actually a fairly new product to me. Um, so I'm still trying to build my opinion on it. I do think I like it better than the um, e.l.f. Putty Primer. I did have the mattifying one, so I don't know if that really made a difference. Um, but I am liking this one a little bit better. This is in an airless pump, so it does get all of the product out. And that is something that I like. Um, but it does feel very silicone-y. Um, so... I may repurchase this. I want to get my opinions on it first because this is the first time I've ever tried uh, the e.l.f. primers in the tubes like this. Next, I have my KVD True, Por True Portrait Foundation. I don't know if they're stopping stop selling this because I bought this on sale at Sephora online. And when I went back to look... It said it was no longer available, so I don't know if they're just stop selling this all together or um, Sephora is just not selling this anymore. So far, I do like this foundation, but I don't like the packaging. You kind of squeeze this middle part to get the foundation out, but the plastic around it makes it hard to do so. So I'm hopefully going to be using this up since it is the only foundation I'm currently working on. Moving on, I have a face powder. This is the second of the second one of these that I've purchased. I used up the first one either last year, the end of last year, beginning of this year. Last year and this year have kind of started running together for me, so I'm really not sure when it was. But this is the Beauty Bakery um, Flower Foundation, uh, Flower Setting Powder, sorry. Um, and this is the translucent one. Like I said, I used up the one of these before and this is a repurchase I am working on the elf HD lifting concealer it's okay I think it's more of my shade than the other elf foundation or concealer I was working on um, but I feel like I'm gonna have to take the stopper out of this one a lot more quickly than I did the HD camo concealer um, but I don't want to quite yet because I know if there's still a ton of product, I don't want to make a huge mess every time I have to use my concealer. I have one brow pot product, and this is the uh, ABH Brow Wiz. Um, I'm about halfway finished with this. I know a lot of people have had issues with the spoolie end breaking off. I personally have not had that issue. Um, I might just have a lucky one. Um, it might just be the consistency of how these are being put in, or I think maybe it, how much pressure you're putting on it. I just lightly comb through my brows before I, like, run the pencil through it. Um, I know my brows are not the best in the world, um, but it gives them a little additional color. Um, so I just do what I do. Next, I have a No Budge Retract Retractable Eyeliner from e.l.f. This is a repeat as well. I've used up two of these so far. Um, one was the full size like this, and then I have a eyeshadow or eye liner shadow stick duo. This end here without the cap was an eyeliner, and this side is a shadow, which I'm trying to use up. Um, so this is the third e.l.f. eyeliner that I've been using. This is the only eyeliner I have right now. 
um, since I was talking about this. I'll talk about this next. This is a shadow stick. Um, I want this in my collection because I would like to, or in my basket, to reach for a little more consistently. I hate that I have all this packaging just for this little bit of product. Um, so I would like to try to use it for more grungy looks. Um, I could have used it today, um, but I just couldn't find it, so I didn't. Um, but there's that. I also have another eyeliner, but I don't use it as an eyeliner. This is the Bodyography Eye Pencil in Onyx. Um, I like having this out where I can reach for it. Because I don't use it as an eye pencil. I use it for a lip liner when I'm using my Juvia's Place Black Lipstick in the shade Dud Dud. Um, I think it pairs very nicely with it. And this lipstick on me, at least it feathers out a little bit. So this helps prevent that. Um, so I'm using this as a black lip liner instead of an eyeliner. I just don't care for pencil eyeliners. Um, my eyes are really sensitive. And I really like to, um, like, rub my eyes with black eyeliner. So, this I'm using as a lip pencil. Um, I am currently using my Buxom Mascara. This is just a small sample. I caught it. Um, but it is not my favorite. I do like the Buxom Glosses, but I don't think I would repurchase a full size of this, um, mascara. I was using the Tarte Man Eater mascara, um, and I really did like that, but I think so far my favorite has been the Milk mascara that I got as a birthday gift from, um, Ulta last year. It's either Ulta or Sephora, one of them, um, but I'm working through this. And uh, lastly, this is the last product that I really didn't give my husband a choice in picking. Um, this is my AOA or Shot Mist A Glitter Tacky Base Eye Primer. It's comparable to the NYX Glitter Glue. I am currently using this for basically any shimmers in my collection. Um, my flaky is from Copacetics Cosmetics and just in general like dual chromes and things like that I think personally look a lot better over a tacky base um so that's what I use this for so those are just items that like I said I didn't give him a choice in because they are what oh no there's one more I'm actually also didn't give him a choice in my panda palette this is a little sneak peek if you have not seen it obviously I haven't uploaded in a while I need to get more consistent with my pan that palette but I do oops this is actually this shade for some reason has started to pop out so I want to try to focus on getting that out because it's not even magnetic so I can't even put it in my singles and get use out of it um, I'm really close to using up wisdom and divine so I would like to do that within the next month and I'm very close to hitting pan on prize and power so those are the only two shades in this palette that I do not have pan no and truth and truth are the only th the three shades in this palette that I don't have pan on which I would like to go ahead and hit pan on um, and get wisdom and divine finished so this is going to be staying in my makeup basket until the end of the year probably because I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this yet but I'm still working on it okay so I gave my husband an option of a ton of eyeshadows to pick and he wanted me to keep out my singles I have three palettes of singles um so I'm gonna go ahead and get started first off I have my Dandelion Co Autumn Splendor palette it is singles, but they're in a palette form, so yeah. Let me open it. This has had a ton of love, as you can tell. Um, this palette, I saw this palette, it turned me on to the brand, and I absolutely fell in love with the formula and the shades in this and just everything about it. So I bought <laughs> some more. 
and this is these are new in my collection I just purchased these um, this is what these look like there is a ton of blues and greens and shimmers and I have my mattes on the side my shimmers on the side and I do feel like this could be a really complimentary palette um, in itself um, so there is that and my last magnetic palette is just this random one. I do have my Star Wars um, shadows in here that are from Copacetics. Um, so these, and then this is a Copacetic shadow as well. This is in the shade Arsenic. Um, very pretty green. Um, and then I have a few oddball shades that I'm not really sure where they came from. I just have them in my collection. And then these are what is left. These small ones are what is left of my um, ColourPop palettes. Um, I'm slowly working through them. I did declutter three shades from here the other day just because they were so similar to each other. And I don't need them in my collection. I want to get my ColourPop out because I don't want to support them anymore. Um, so just having one of each color or similar color to me is enough. Um, I feel like I can get more use out of them and get through them a lot quicker. So those are my singles that he wanted me to keep out. And then he also picked two actual palettes, a uh, quad and a and two quads. So the palettes he picked was my Color Drain Smoke Show palette, which I really do like. I really like this green. This would be a nice um, <laughs> shadow to blend with, uh, as well as this. It, just really a nice matte um, palette. The black here, Smoke Screen, is shimmering. But on the eyes, it does not show up as a shimmer. So I do feel like that's a really nice black. That black is really what turned me on to black eyeshadow. So great, great pick for him. And then he also picked my Makeup Revolution Chilled Palette. Also known as the Cannabis Palette. This is what it looks like. Lots of greens and browns and cool tones. Um, I really like this palette. I did depot and declutter the three very glittery shades in here. I just can't use them on my eyes. And I feel like this may be a potential. This might be getting a little early for next year, but this may be a potential paint that palette for 2022. I don't know yet. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I really do like this palette. I like the color story and I can see myself reaching for it quite a bit this month. The last bit of eyeshadow. I know this is a lot of eyeshadow, but I just kind of let him pick whatever he wanted. Um, I have my Pumpkin Pie uh, Bite Quad from e.l.f. Unfortunately, the shade right here broke, and I wasn't able to repress it, so it's now a trio, so it's okay. And I think it did break and get on some of the other shades, but I will just have to clean them up a bit. Um, this is what it looks like. I did like, this is probably my favorite quad out of all of them, other than the hot jalapeno quad. Um, so if I was to repurchase, I would probably only repurchase this in the hot jalapeno, which is the green one. Um, and I don't know if all of these will be getting used in June, but it's a good good option. I did express to my husband that I do want to try to finish this quad. I only have the two shimmers left and both of them have quite a bit of pan. Um, so he did pick me to work on this as well. Um, right now I've only been using this shade mostly as an inner corner highlight. I do want to create some looks with this all over the lid, but I've really been having fun with my new singles, so this may or may not get used. <laughs> so those are all these shadows that I have this month, and I only have four products left. Um, two of them are blushes, 
my husband knows like out of face products probably blush is my favorite so I have the NYX Sweet Cheeks Glow in the shade, shade Citrine Rose. It is very pretty. That's what that looks like. And I also have the Elf Jelly Pop Flush Blush in the shade Peach Pop. And this is what it looks like. Let me give you a little swatch. So that's what they those look like. He wanted to give me options, like I said, because he knows how much I like blush. And sometimes I just want a little bit of color. And sometimes I want to be like flushed, if that makes sense. He also picked my Urban Decay Primer Potion for my eye base this month. I have a Shop Miss A like eye base that I also use occasionally. But I feel like I'm almost finished with this. I have about halfway without the wand in it. So I'm going to be working on this. And we've all heard about this pretty much. Um, great, I would repurchase. But I want to get through other bases first. And then for my highlighter, he picked my Colored Rain Luxurious Bling uh, focal point glow lighter very very pretty I have repressed this multiple times because this just seems to always break on me but it is so gorgeous um, it has like a greeny gold shift on a white base I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that probably not but it is it is very very pretty very pretty so that is all of the products that he picked for my June makeup basket. Um, I'm very interested to see what I actually use and reach for um, this month. And yeah. Oh, actually forgot a product. This is a lipstick from e.l.f. This is the Hydrating Lip Core. It is in the shade, I believe, Joyful. And I actually use this as a cream blush quite a bit. I put that in a very weird angle, but there we go. And you still can't see it. Okay. <laughs> um, it is very pretty. It makes a nice blush color. It makes a nice lipstick color. Um, I've been using these really as chapstick, and I know that makes no sense, but... Um, they're great they're very moisturizing to the lips so i don't want to reach for my giant lip balm i just use this and it gives me a little bit of a color on my lips and i really like it so i'm actually going to attempt to use this up this month so that's the goal i don't know if i'll be able to reach it but that's the plan so that was all of the products my husband picked for my June makeup basket. Um, I'm very interested to see what I reach for and what I don't. This is really the first time I've done an official um, makeup basket. I tried it for May, but I was doing a challenge. So I kept pulling other things out of my collection. But I really want to focus on these and get some use out of this and like rotate through. I feel like that's going to be the best plan of action for my makeup. Um, so I really do hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help my channel. Um, I do want to start posting three times a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So I'm going to do my best to stick to that. Um, I have been uploading on Tuesdays and Thursdays pretty consistently. But I think that third day, maybe just doing... A quick video would be nice as well. So I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.